All right, so let's get back into it for this league here. Oh no, we don't, we're not playing standard. We can't play Death Shadow in standard. So let's get out of this for my sad league this morning. Oh, I should actually probably put this up, put my deck up. This has been the one perk of my wife not being here, because I have been able to do some a lot of streaming. Let's bring this over here. God, I wish I could get Founders to sponsor my stream. That would be awesome. Get my music going. I would like to play first, and I would like to mow you. I'll keep this one. So a little thought seize Tarmogoyf action here. Probably get Overgrown Tomb off of this. We have the double green, which is a slight knob though. Stephanie needs to get us a black source. That. Overgrown tomb. Cycle. Oh, we got Delirium on one. Tarmogoyf's gonna be big. Spire of Industry. We're playing against Infinity. No, we're playing against. Okay. Ironworks. We actually can't. Agents turn into one. Oh, we do a scratch all off. So we get the scratch all off the battlefield. <clears throat> guys, we have to play Spyrite. They have to play Spellball on one and they double agent turns. Maybe a tough one to beat. We don't have a lot of outs, so we card Kirkland Ironworks. I can traverse for a Tarmogoy, which is kind of nice. Oh, that's, a, that's like the best draw on our deck. We're going to shock ourselves, play this Goyf. Next turn, traverse for another Goyf. <clears throat> yeah, this Ironwork should be gas here. Uh, I believe it's updated on the Stream Decker. Actually, no, I didn't do that. So let me go here. Let me go export. You should be able to click on the little stream decker in one second. My N19, okay. All right, you should be able to check on the stream decker now. Okay, so get scrap trawler and ancient strings. All right, uh, I have a sorcery in my graveyard, so I'll start by attacking. <coughs> Gonna get another time away because we're casting this K command more than likely next turn. Best draw for us would be like a discard spell. <coughs> so there's a Dark Steel Citadel. Terrarian. Terrarian. So what happened? He must have played this Fire of Industry. They played the Agent's turns. Okay, so we know their hand. We got him next turn. So there's a spire. So they actually have to play Engineer Explosives for zero. Okay, this is fine. So we're just going to. I think I messed this up. 
Hey, not much, Nate. I think I've, I think I messed this up. So this comes down. The problem is they can just like discard something that's not scrap trawler. I think it's better than ever, Nate. I really do. Like, if you've been watching this stream here, we have been we've been running train recently. Okay, so I think that as soon as my opponent gives me back priority, I go shatter discard. Destroy target, dark blade discard power, time on this point. So they sack this, but we get this out of the way so they can't sack anything while the whatever it is is in play. Yeah, we have been hosing, we have been doing some serious winning on the stream lately. And I think that I just think this deck is very, very good at this moment in time. Okay, so what are they discard? They discard a thought cast, they have they have the dude, and they have one draw stack. Scrap trawler, okay? So they can sack this. Double scrap trawler. Alright. So they're gonna do some chomp blocking. So they get a bunch of stuff back, but they can't do anything with it. Unless they get some mana here. Yeah, Nate. You literally name it. As long as it's not blue white control or Tron, we have been we have been beating the piss out of it. Maybe. <clears throat> All right, we'll close it on eight hundred followers. It kind of sucks that they only have to block one, but I guess they get something back. Like there's there's a world where we die this turn. Because they probably get back Terrarian, and that's at least a card draw for one, but they're down a mana to do it. And then we just play another Town of Life. <clears throat> I'm going to leave this in my hand. I mean, there's no, they're not playing around anything at this point. Oh, they get two things back because there's two of these in place. So they get Terrarian. They get two Terrarians. All right, so, I mean, they're going to get some looks, but they're still down mana to cast these. So, like, <clears throat> they need a way to generate mana to get, while having artifacts in play, I guess. I mean, there's probably a way my opponent kills me from here. I don't exactly know what it is, but draw cards, and then down a mana. Okay. All right, so I'm going to assume these aren't good. I'm going to assume that these are good. This is good. I don't understand why you would play this KCI deck. When you could just play, like, I'm assuming the brutalities aren't good. This KCI deck, when you can just play Affinity. Like, you're you're an artifact deck that also loses to Graveyard Hate. I gotta figure out some more cards to take out. Probably can board out the mountain. So we have V6. We've got to board out. We've got to cut two cards. Probably it's just two fatal pushes. I don't need too much removal. And fatal push is my worst removal. Yeah, so we'll go like this. Man, my dog has been farting up a storm today. Like god damn. Little bastard.
But I don't think we can mulligan a discard spell as a K command and a redraw with a scry, so. His hands are like, definitely needs a little bit of help, but. Alright, so now we're three quarters of the way to Delirium. Let's get that out of here. I was just going to get a watery grave so that I've got everything that I need. <clears throat> Alright, whenever whenever Mirror Jewel dies, return target artifact back to your graveyard. Whenever Scribe Child dies. So like these two get each other back. Tilt. I guess I'll just take away one of them. These two, this is like a loop. Holy shit. <clears throat> maybe both these, maybe I have to get both of these in the play together. So I can go Shatter Shock. They both die at the same time, so they, I guess they both died and they both can return shot. That, that fucking sucks. These two cards just like loop. I guess I'm gonna take this one. <clears throat> that is so bad for the home team. Cause that's just like a loop. Alright, well at least now, I don't know, we can like, do something, I'm not exactly sure, I'm not, I'm actually not, I'm actually like not 100% sure how to beat that. Ever floating chalice. Well, here we are just ripping the goods. My opponent has, I kind of want to just abrupt decay this chalice. Because I want to hope that my opponent does something where they play out a bunch of stuff, and then I can K-Command this. It also gives me Delirium, so if my opponent like doesn't agree with me, we can do this. Because killing this isn't going to do very much. Because it's just going to like bring the Mirror Retrieval back, and it's just like a loop. So I need to somehow kill this like before it gets on the battlefield, and I'm just going to kind of hope that they don't have a land. Are you queued up for the MV this season? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah, I got an MV. I got a. I'm gonna go play one. Maker Wellspring. Okay, so there's no, no dude now. And they missed the land drop. Okay, so now we're just traversing for a shadow, playing a shadow. No, I'm still working on it. I've gotten so I've gone to the IQ down in uh, for East Falls Church for the last I don't know two two times, and each time two out of the last two out of the last three times I've gotten nine. So I'm just gonna make them discard a card, return my Death Shadow. Well, actually, let me think. So if I just return my Death Shadow, shock myself seven. Deal seven of them, they go to sixteen. Eight. These are seven sevens. Fetch shock. Five. Shock myself seven. Shock next turn nine. Yeah, so I'm just actually just gonna shock myself and return Death Shadow. We're just gonna try to kill them next turn. We're gonna try to reach from your graveyard. So we're trying to return this. This. We're just gonna like kill our opponent. Cause they go to 15, they go to 16. We shock ourselves. It's 19 damage. So unless they can put a blocker here. Okay, so I actually can just crack this right now. And then... 
Oh, that was, no, that's the wrong note. Control Z. Tap this one so we can still drop Battle Rage. Okay, nice. So let this go. Bolt this. Crack my opponent for 18. And get out of my face. Yeah, my buddy that I always go to events with is cute for the MV, so I really want to, like... The Invitational was, like, my favorite event that I've ever done. I've only done one of them. And I, I was actually qualified, but because I was getting married, I couldn't I couldn't go. Cause, like, the timing was just too much. I couldn't actually learn to play standard and plan a wedding. So, I decided to plan a wedding. I didn't really decide. My wife decided for me. Welcome to Married Life. I'm gonna grab my something and we'll be right back. I might play, I still might play the team event since if I get some people to drive that I know they're driving up there, I might end up doing it. Oh, this guy's playing John. We beat the piss out of this guy earlier today. So we're gonna keep this. We're gonna cycle this before fetching. We don't have an answer to Bob, which is a little like one of the places to lose this matchup. Yeah, the angers are new today. Like, I added a mountain into the deck, so maybe I can, like, leave myself the option to have Radiant Flames. Yeah. So, decline, so the decline of Fatal Push has made this deck. Just, yes, it has. Also, you just have a good gun matchup. Like, we're going to beat this guy. You're at, like, like you beat all the same decks that Jun beats, and you beat them better, maybe except for like small creature decks. But you even have TBR out of the out of the sideboard, so I'm not even super sure about that. And plus, people just don't can't kill my shit, which is great. This deck is awesome. This deck is absolutely amazing at this moment. And a part of it's because, like, the difference, everybody keeps asking, so keep playing Blood Raid off this deck. They're like, so why do you play Blood Raid And I'm like, because this deck does the exact same thing Jun does, but they're better at it. All right, we're going to smoke that. Now I'm actually just gonna attack first. Oh no, so I'm actually just gonna traverse for a land. Forest. Attack. He doesn't when he doesn't block with this bottom, I'm gonna push it. If he just blocks the bottom, whatever. Actually, I messed up. Yeah, I messed this up. I should have done this before. I shouldn't have given him the opportunity. But though, if he blocks, I just go traverse. No, because I need to put an instant in my graveyard.
And now I'm just going to traverse for a Blood Red Elf. So even if my opponent lilies me next turn, then I've got the Elf locked down. I just, I just know I don't take the John Facebook group. Yeah, no, I actually left that one. But also, everybody's, everybody's also just mean. Like, they're all just mean to each other. Oh. So you got an answer to this, don't you? We're not, we're not going to play our elf on an open board. We're just going to play a discard spell. They have double elf. Okay. They also have a lightning bolt. This K command can help mitigate this first blood ray off. Gross. Okay, so now I'm not even, well. Now I actually have to think. So, my opponent's going to attack. I could just rebuy my Tarmogoyf. Because I don't really want to take three and then have them get into a way to kill my Bloodbraid Elf. So I'm actually just going to go... Return target creature card. Yeah, I just don't want to, like get punked out of this game. Alright, and that's a pretty good draw. Overrun too many shots and still lightning bolts this. We're actually going to play this. If my opponent tries to lightning bolt this, I might lightning bolt myself. Shock themselves. Now they shock themselves, and I hit right off this blood rate health, they're just dead. Play Tom and Boy. And they play Bob. Okay. So now if I just hit right off this blood rate health, they're just super smoked. Yeah, now I've just got to push this. going to be mana efficient. No, I really want to kill this. God, I kind of just want to kill this Bob. That seems so... I want, I want to kill this, and then I get his Bob, too. Yeah. It sucks not Bloodbraid all thing, but I feel like it's the right thing to do, especially when there's, like, my opponent has to block. We have a Blood Red Elf to deal with his Blood Red Elf. I got the next one ready. Slag Storm. Yeah, see, we're just absolutely... Well, that's a good hit, but, I mean, you need a removal spell, you're dead. And that's like... Yeah, see, we just pissed all over this deck. We, we, I guess I don't know what we're going to cascade them to. So we want to bring in some of our grind cards. And I actually just like boarding out three street rates. Because as long as we don't get punked out by this Jun deck, we beat the shit out of it. We just don't want to get punked out. Like, we don't want to get our life total to too low. Like, we can grind with this deck because we have four. Excuse me. Seven. 11 blood rounds. Like, right here. 
No, because we want to keep our discard because we're like lower to the ground. You know what I mean? Like we want, like we don't necessarily want the game to go that long. And on the draw, I want to have, because how I lose this matchup is my opponent bobs me. So on the, I might cut some discard on the play, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, we've six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We, I, want, I just want that many ways to deal with our confidant. Though yesterday, this morning, I played against this guy and I beat the shit out of him, even though he drew a card off that confidant. Like he, he actually got a Bob trigger and it still wasn't close. Because my deck does exactly what his deck does, but better. I've never been so, and like everybody is going to say that I'm crazy, you know? But I've never been so, like... i never thought that this deck was better than it was right now. Like, this card fixes... The, he's going to take it. He's just going to take this card. Because he has to. Yeah. Because mine is better than him. See, look, you see that? Like, his deck is a mopey deck that plays 25 lands. Our decks do the exact same thing, but I play 19 lands, he plays 24, 25. Like, his deck is literally, like, probably inferior to my deck in every single way possible. All right, I'm going to traverse. I'm just going to get a land. Now, that was actually kind of mopey. Because I was just going to erupt a K. Yeah, that was, that was stupid. Yeah, that was so bad. I was literally just basking in my glory, and I forgot how bad of a play that was. Honestly, maybe I'll just ditch the land. Fix our problem here. Should have just play PD, discard players. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no I, this was bad. I was, I was, like, focusing on, like, making my point, and I, serious, I just super fucked this up. Opponent just doesn't want to use theirs. I'm going to just get this off the battlefield. This means my opponent has a Bloodbraid Elf. So, but we, we, I don't know. We got like, we got this shit covered. All right. He takes my command. Show me a blood rail. Oh, it's Bob. Okay. Yeah, and it's like, like I don't want to, like, because John, John's a sweet deck. It really is. Like, it, my opponent's deck is good. I'm not gonna sit here and say like, it isn't. So what are they doing? They're fetching. They're just like fetching Gale at a six value. But like, I'm gonna probably the way this game's playing out. No, nope, can't do that. The way this game's playing out, I'm probably just gonna like 4-0 my opponent. My opponent could just elf into something insane. And now we're gonna command back our elf and hope to draw land. And it's like we can't even cast the elf, but it's it's I mean we couldn't bring anything back, but we would all we, we would just command back the elf. Play a bomb. Still gonna make him discard a card and my command back my elf. He has a land in play, so like we are gonna get his. We are gonna, we're only gonna get a land, so it's not like that, right? Okay, so we have a couple bad hits, so this could actually be kind of like a mediocre Bloodbraid elf. Because we can hit that shadow, which will give us delirium. 
but Death Shadow or Traverse would not be super great. Just bolt my opponent. Then I'm actually just going to take a hit from this Tom Life. That was one of our one of our worst hits. Because if I take a hit from this Tarmogoyf, I can then push it and play my Death Shadow. Oh, oh, Mines MTG with, with the play there. I didn't think about that. And like, it appears my opponent, oh no, this is all fine. It appears my opponent's flooding out. Like, that's what their deck does. Let me take a look. They're drawing an Inquisition, which is kind of a tilt because, I mean, it's not really a tilt because, like, my Death Shadow's going to live, but, but now, see, like, I literally, yeah, it's kind of a tilt. I kind of, I just wanted to make sure they didn't have a Blood Rail coming off the top, which was, like, why I was thinking about that, but I was probably, like, just too scared. Oh my god, I literally just clicked. I misclicked there and we missed the lethal. Alright. Yeah, and then I clicked through my freaking kill phase. Ugh. Didn't matter. Yeah, and it's like my deck is so much better than theirs. It's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous how much better. Oh. I see why you get nine that IQs. No, I deserve that. I deserve that. I see why you get nine that IQs. What a fucking jokester we got here in the chat. Shush, Sheely. That's a roast. That is a super roast here. Like... <laughs> Drop in daggers. Alright, let's just beat the shit out of this guy too. Alright, ready? We're gonna 5 other sleep. I'm calling it. I have 19 lands in my deck. Three left to land. And look, he's gonna fix my mana anyways. There we go. Dude, this deck is gas, man. Um. So I think I'm gonna hold these. We're not gonna go too hot wide. Right now. We're gonna get an overgrown tomb, and I'm gonna take. Target, Burning Inquiry, or Drop of More. Or Faithless Leading. Um, so I added a Mountain to the main deck, just to give that a whirl tonight. So we went up to 19 lands. And I'm like, I think I can support Double Red much easier. So just giving, that, giving those out a try. Or I'm giving those a try. All right, here comes the Bloodgast. Oh, they second like a hollow one. Alright. So if I play... I'm going to cycle one more time because I wouldn't mind hitting that task here with the Thoughtseize. Um... This task here is going to be kind of an issue. Tasker's actually going to be like a wicked issue. Go to nine. Yeah, I'm going to get Tom away from the play. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Didn't think about which land I should. I should have fetched for a swamp, save myself some damage. Got one more. Tasker, oh yes, he ditched the Tasker and he kept the Flame Wake Phoenix. I take four though, which is a lot of damage. 
Oh, basic mountain, what are you doing for me now? So I'm gonna bolt this now. Because it grows my time of life. If I actually just kill my opponent next turn with this collective brutality, my Tomagoyce, my Dormatoyce. Yeah, so the red, the anger, the anger is there just because I have another red source. It's purely, and I want to give myself the option if I determine I want 19 lands. I want to give myself the option to leave Bloodbright Elf in against decks that I want anger the gods. Dude, Goyf is just, oh my god, this deck is so... My opponent's just sitting there, and they're like, hey, hey. I'm going to play this in the challenge. I'm going to play this in the challenge this weekend. Gurmag Angler would suck, for the record. Nasty Gurmasty would not be good. Why not Slagstorm? Give me a six, random six plus damage shoot on out of nowhere. Dude, you actually have a point there. And it's not even like the voice of Resurgence decks are any good. God. Shula Seeley with the daggers and then the intelligence. Makes me want to let all of his garbage go. Call him a decent human being. He better be following my channel. If you're going to shit on me as much as you do, you better fucking follow my channel. Look at that. Red Radderkin coming in hot. I appreciate that. Sweet. You got a flame like Phoenix. Oh, here comes here comes the stuff here. Oh, empty boy. Oh, so my opponent's still dead. Maybe. Not quite. Okay, so I attack with both of my creatures. He either blocks with this, and then we're okay. Or, and then I get to take this off the battlefield and gain life, so I have another owl. Yeah, I'm definitely attacking. I'm just gonna escalate with three modes just here. Okay. Can't cast blood gas. Ooh, should have kept my ooh ooh ooh. ooh we we messed up. Is there two flame blade deaths? They have two flame blade deaths that can get us. We messed up. I'll even toss it this way too. No. All right, that's all right. We'll win two in a row. Okay, so I think I actually think I want my spell bombs, and I don't think I really want the blood right else. I think I want stubborn denial. Right, like stub seems better by all estimations. Damn it. All right, we're going to fix that. I got too excited there. I messed up there. What's your reasoning on skipping Dismember? Because Dismember is not very good in fair matchups where you want to go long. Dismember, Dismember is an explosive card. I think we want to play over the top of some Battle Rage action too. So let's see if I can get these out of my deck. I don't think I want my fatal pushes, because they don't kill very many things. And I don't think I want these collector brutalities. Fatal push is better than brutality. Oh shit. Yeah.
God, I can't wait to just stubborn denial at turn one goblin lore. Or burning inquiry. Yeah, I think this is decent. Keep this in because it kills the hollow boy. That's a burn matchup. We have four collective brutalities, two teamer battle rages, and four stubborn denials under 75. So, game one is tough. You're super favorite in game two and three. Whether you win or not, it's difficult to win a game on the draw against Burn always. So, like, you know. But, but I like it. I like it overall. I mean, in all, in all reality, I really think that I like my matchup against every single deck except Tron and Blue White Control. Or any deck that starts with a Leyline Sanctity in play and has an actual good hand behind it. So I can discard spell a turn one play. I think this is one of those hands you have to keep when you're a Death Shadow player. Like this is a slow cantrip. I can interact. I've got 18 lands in my deck. Traverse 21. I have 21 draws that give me a land. I have four street race, which are a redraw. So I have 25 draws next turn out of 53. And I can operate if I miss one land. So I think this hand's good enough where I'm gonna keep it. I start off with Inquisition, because we're really and my opponent might just like we could actually just leave them with a burning inquiry to fix my hand. Take that goblin lore. Next turn, we're gonna probably thought seize nasty your nasty. Alright, that's a good hit. Alright, see what I'm talking about. Um, get this. Um, I think we're just gonna I think we're just gonna deal with the angle. Nasty Gurmasty is just such a problem. I can deal with that fatal push. Like, we can either stub it, or I can just return the Tarmogoyf. Like, I can shock this, bring the Goyf back. Alright. Smack. That was all stupid. I'm just not even thinking. I could have, like... I guess, like, me spellbombing takes a turn off, which is kind of slow, which I don't really like. I don't know. Probably probably could probably could have done that a little better if we sat here and thought it out. Okay, battle rage. I'm going to do this now. Just to hopefully hit a land. I'm gonna hold that until next turn. Because, like, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna cycle into a Death Shadow? Like, I'm gonna do that. I guess I can cycle into a Fetch Land. Here comes the Duder. Okay, this might be a hard one to win. I probably, because I tossed this game here, we were, like, not thinking. We were just so excited about how awesome the deck is that I just, like, lost my mind. Alright, so now we gotta do this. Spell Bombs are guests. I think I just actually need to just cycle through this. My Tarmac doesn't do anything. All right. So now I can actually can play a tap land, K command this, and then discard a card. So we have plays. I don't know if they're going to be good enough. My plays all center around my opponent drawing nothing forever. Ruh row. Ditching an empty boy. You could almost cast that. You have a stopping ground here. Oh god, am I just dead? This is two six. This is gonna be six. I fetch and go to four. So I'm just like super dead. Because I can't because I take here, fetch go to two. 
six to go to because I have to fetch. Unless they get rid of their fatal push, which they did. But I can't block this next turn. God, we tossed away our 5-0. I literally got all excited about it. I was like, we just ran over these two decks. Alright. We're just gonna fetch this tap because I think we got to. We're dead to both creatures. I don't really think I have a draw. I'm gonna firmly go with I tossed this match. I literally was just too excited and tossed it at some point. Alright, that one's my fault. That one's my fault. I'm fairly certain that we could have taken other lines to do better in that one. Give me Jund. Let me play Jund. Let me play Jund. Hold in this. Keep this. We're looking for any way to do damage to ourselves, I think. A land would be nice. I think I, I kind of just want to bottom this. Because, like, I'm not doing a one. I'm playing my Tarmor Voice next turn. Yeah, I'm about to this. Though, I should have put that on top, giving myself the option to shuffle it away. That was another mistake. Yeah, I tried that. I did not like it. I thought it was too much. I thought it was, like, there was too much going on, if that makes sense. Like... It didn't, like, that deck didn't know if it was a Young Pyromancer deck, and it didn't know if it was a um, Traverse the Uvenwald deck. Like, there's just a little bit too much going on, for my taste. All right, we're not going to show them the counter spells. I'm going to guess we're playing Storm. When did I graduate? I graduated from Clarkson in the winter of 2015. I think the four color pyro deck can be like made into something, but. Just coming in hot. So I actually think my opponent has like a remand. I think we're still playing in Storm. Philly, we're playing in Storm. Are you excited? What a jerk. He didn't opt to grow my Tarmogoyf. Like, whose team is this guy on? Give me something to point this at, please. We might not win this one. We're a little stuck here. Hopefully I don't have a reveal. They could just go hard mode here. What is this? Okay, Snapcaster Mage. That makes me feel a lot better. Until they blood moon me. And then I'm like, I can't win. happier to play this. We got a chase. What do you got, sir? Oh, man, you didn't attack me. Um, I could bolt this, because this suggests that he wants to, like, block and bolt this, so I think I'm just going to go here. Start going for four or five. Because this is all like. Do you really. I don't think you want to chump block in this position. We even lands. We, we added one. We added one. Why are you doing this to me? I want seven cards. This is going to be a tough one. It could be a moon combo deck, but yeah. That's what I think we're doing. That's what I think is going on here. They're probably gonna cryptic this on my turn. Bounce this to my hand. That's gonna make me sad. Seems like a cryptic command. Yep. Yeah. Well, we have like surprise three damage out of nowhere. 
Sleight of hand. This definitely, they definitely have to be like a blue red combo deck of some sort. Try it. Okay. It was either that or discard. Like I could have held up for a blood moon or something, but gonna do this because like it lets me play a death shadow i need to get on the board and the odds of myself burning my opponent out don't seem that great all right i remand my bolt that targets me not aot we really couldn't have done not a lot okay i'm gonna ditch a death shadow I'll probably, i'm actually gonna ditch this blood ray elf I feel like we're gonna die. We died. I can just lightning bolt this. How much do I want to play this game? Like probably not a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so against these control decks. He went 33 cards in his deck, and we didn't see a we didn't see a combo finish. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna assume this is a control deck. Um, I don't like pushes. Sometimes we did, should leave in some removal, but I want these. I want the blood Bray elf. I want the spell bomb, and I probably want the last hope. I don't really want the pushes. I can board out a street wraith because they're probably gonna be like a little derpy burn deck. Cut another street wraith. K command's probably not like super great. The card might be medium. Let me get a light on it here. It is getting dark in this city of Washington, DC. I could play Battle Rage because like a blue red deck can't beat it. And maybe it's like fine. Like, maybe I can just cut these lightning bolts and bring these in. It's like, oh, well, if I accidentally cascade into it, I do. But, like, it's going to be difficult for a blue-red deck to kill, like, an 8-8 Death Shadow that's attacking. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's, I think it's worth the reward. Denial is good. Janasso 14, but it's a Nambo with Bloodbright Elf. And I think that the Elf is better. This hand is gay. Turn one delirium. We can actually even fetch a basic if we want to get around your blood moon. Yeah, no, we're not fetching a basic. My opponent blood. I'm assuming if my opponent blood moons me on turn three on the draw, then they're gonna. out of here. Now we're going to play a 4-5 Tomagoy. They drew a spell snare, I swear to God. Oh my God. You spell snare me? You motherfucker. You are a terrible individual. I probably could have sniffed that out, like, in all reality. 
Maybe I should have just gone like Thought Seize the Lightning Bolt. The drawing Opt, okay. But like. Yeah, they went bottom top. Now we probably Thought Seize the Lightning Bolt. Well, actually, we don't even need to do that anymore. Joke's on you. Don't move me. I mean, move wouldn't be very good for them either. Entrancing melody, sure. Alright, so now I'm just going to go here, cycle this, try to hit a land. I'm gonna hold that because if because like I'm just gonna fetch a forest with it more than likely like we're all about just like land in this blood red elf and if we have a forest we can land it through blood moon this thing's a huge problem We're all out. So looking for a spell snare, didn't find a spell snare. The entrancing melody was kind of cute. Put a card on the bottom. Wow, that's they are opting for a good time. Yeah, we got a mom and pop. We got a moon. We got entrancing now. Jace, the mind sculptor. All right, land one time. <laughs> Give me a land. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, forest, swamp. Deck, bro. They beat me in game one, so I shouldn't talk that much shit. Lethal there. Could have. Didn't. Sweet. Phone's flooding out. Did I? Oh, we could have gone for a street race. God, we could have gone. We could have gone. Fetch shock cycle street right. They had one card in hand, so we could have lost the lightning bolt, right? Right, Jonas. We put ourselves in danger of losing the bolt doing that, right? Is that what? Is that where we want our life to be? There. Oh, he tapped out for the reman. You're right. I'm playing fast, I'm excited, and we're not even doing anything right.
Yeah, we're just gonna run it back. Now I have to do some like actual thinking because I don't want to get Blood Moon on the draw. We're not gonna get Blood Moon on the draw. Yeah, you were right. You were right. So we're gonna go basic, basic. Like I'm just not in. I ain't about that moon life. My gut said we missed it right after, so that was my fault. That was my fault. We don't need to draw any more of those. We're, gonna lead, we're definitely going to lead off of a Pluto Delta. It's our worst land. Entrancing Melody on top. Okay. I think we're all right with that for now. I kind of just want to take this click. Because it's going to mess up my Bloodbraid Elf. I need a little bit of help. Like we're we are a little flooded here. That was a good draw because now we can get the entrancing melody. They're more than likely the Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, I think we're just gonna take our opponent's Snapcaster Mage. Like the melody sucks, but like if we take the melody, they can just snap it back. And now we're just gonna get. We're just gonna get Moonproof. And like, I'm, I might want, I guess, you know, I have the Spell Bomb, but like that, that means I like leave up mana. And we're already like down cards. So I don't really want to do that. Okay, so there's a Tarn. What do we got here? Are we getting Moon? The only thing that does stop is our death shadows are not very, like, large. I think I'm going to crack this and look for, like, a Tarmoloif. Okay, so it's Traverse. They don't have Delirium 4. So we could have a pretty sad Bloodbraid Elf here. I'm just saying. But we're going to cast it. We're going to hope to cascade into, like, oh, this entrancing melody. My opponent's got double blue, so, like, this melody, gain control. Yeah, this thing's a beating. This thing is a beating. So, you now they can get a Tarmogoyf. We're going to take, like, a, we're going to take something for this. Slide of hand. Oh, shoot. They have a lightning bolt. Yes! That is, that is something. That is something. Definitely playing this a little too quickly, I think. We're playing a bit fast and loose. You know, our, our draw has not been spectacular, but... Battle Rage, Tilt. So he kills this. We have Delirium. So he's Entrancing Melody and two other cards. I can actually go Traverse for a Bloodbraid Elf. K Command my Bloodbraid Elf back at the end of their turn. This deck is amazing. Like, I don't even give a shit right now. There's no way we should be in this game when, like, we have a chance to win. Like, now we get to take the melody. We're just, like, a million miles ahead now. Like, and that's why this card is insane. Like, Death Shadow did, could not do this. 
like in its former iterations, and now like it, there's no way a Death Shadow deck wins this matchup now. And now you're just like, like you're at 16, your opponent has a Blood Moon. There's no way it's not happening. We could even we should leave some of our fetch lands up because we could like Blood Red Elf into what do they do? They put a card on top and they drew it. So let's thought seize them. Because whatever they saw, they like. They bolt that, sure. Cast five, six. Okay, Relic does something. Makes my Tarmogoy bitty and bitty. Now my Tarmogoy is huge. Put a card on the bottom. Alright, we're gonna leave that in our hand for a little while. We still have two outs. We have Blood Moon. We have uh, whatever the card is. We have Abrupt Decay. We could get this. I think we drew a mountain. <laughs> How many ops does this guy have? Put it on top, Sulfur Falls. It's probably a cryptic command. Maybe an anger of the gods. Mom and pop. All right, mom and pop plays. Mom and pop doesn't play. So if I just go shock, shatter shock. I could just go shock discard. Wait, if I go Shatter Shock, I don't want to miss Lethal again. So, Shatter Shock, they block by Bite Elf, take two. I could just Shatter Shock myself and then get a Death Shadow in the play, right? I could Shatter Discard. No, I'm not going to Shatter my Shock myself because no matter what, this game doesn't go very much longer. I'm just going to kill them. I think I'm just going to go here and discard, and if they add a type to the graveyard, then they have to chump both creatures. Like, if this is a sorcery, then all of a sudden they're boned. Yeah, so now they have to block both things. Chump City, population opponent. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. We're doing it. I like shock, discard, yeah. The old mind sculptor bounced by blood right off. Bounce my blood right off. I won't attack Jace. I promise. I promise. I hope everyone's having a good time. I'm having fun at least. I love this deck. I think this deck is like aces. Three cards. They have something. They have an out. Now, if they have an out, they're going to cast a response to this thought scene. So, that doesn't do it, right? Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Let's get the 4 1. I'm gonna grab another food. Be right back. Dude, you just, you absolutely trounced John Achopa. Because your deck's more efficient in the early game. You are behind John in the mid game, as they Blood Bright Elf a little harder than you do. But then in the late game, you you just out Blood Bright them because you have traverses to find all of your Blood Bright Elves. You just draw more Elves than they do. This is the best John deck in the format. And it's not close. I draw my lilies. I draw my lilies like with the sit with a similar rate because I'm playing a 48 card deck, you know? Um, I'm gonna keep this. It's like a little sketchy, but I've got like a I've got like plenty of interaction, a couple redraws. We're gonna have a quick shadow. I doubt we're going to want to play a Death Shadow next turn. This is a Rug Scape Ship deck. Alright, well, let's search for his content. It's going to get out of here. We draw a Tarmaloy for it. Like, I think it's going to be huge. It's not Tarmaloy, though. So now I just take this scape shift. Fetch shock and overgrown tomb. The next turn, traverse for another shadow. Then we're just gonna clock him for eight a turn. And like they might be able to get to a point where they can electrolyze bolt one of my guys. But like my, I might just be able to, like by the time that happens, I couldn't hold up a lightning bolt. I could just draw another land. Okay, let's attack. Yeah, this deck is just like. Like, I don't know how to say this, but, like, Modern has moved past Jund, I think. I think this is what Jund needs to be. Like, we, we watched Jadine Comparence at the SCG die to Storm on turn three while she interacted on one and then played a Bob on two. And she still lost. Like, Jadine's great, but, like, why, why are you playing? Like, that's your nut draw, and it still didn't matter. Steve, we draw. A I think we're gonna kill them. Tail. We're just gonna do. We're, we're not gonna. We're not gonna like. I don't know. We're not gonna finish them off here. We're gonna hold this lightning bolt up in case my opponent spends all their resources trying to kill one of these. There's no. I don't think there's any need to put them to one. One, two, three, four, five. Because if we put them to what am I beating? If they, if they bolt me after I bolt myself, they can hit a bolt to kill me. So I don't think we want to live that life. And if they like primeval titan me and I draw a land, I can edict and kill them. I can actually just kill them through a primeval titan anyways.
So it appears my opponent's setting up for like... Okay. I don't know how this matchup lines up. Like, I, I would be willing to bet that it's right for me to have my Stubborn Denials in my deck and not my Blood Red Elves in. I think we're boarding the Blood Red Elves out here. I think we're going to bring in the four, the four stubby D's. God, Philly boy, he's exhausted. Oh my God, so my dog learned to like stay and come today. Fucking blew my mind. Like this is the best dog ever. This is the best dog ever. So if my bone, if my opponent goes to like lightning bolt, electrolyze one of my death shadows. I do the twelve dollar leagues. The real difference it's just payout. The eight dollar leagues are nice when you're learning a deck because even if you like won four, you can still get something out of it. Which is really what I should do because like I lost a lot of tickets when I first got my card holder um, sponsorship because I was just like playing new decks, doing new things. So I can actually cryptic me now. Put it on the bottom of the bottom. Okay. Tap my team. Well, no, we actually know their hand, so they're gonna try to go with the kill one of these on my upkeep. All right, resolves. One and one. All right. We're gonna bolt our cells for style points. Covered. Oh, shoot. How do you like the Mana Wall of Pyro Shadowless? I haven't checked it out yet. I would think it would be pretty... I think it's worse. Well, I don't know. I think it's sweet. I want to try it, though. Like... I think we want. I think we want all this. This is just a combo deck. We want to kill them. Um, I think it's probably pretty sweet. Like, obviously, Young Pyromancer is a great card. Manamorphos, a busted card. I believe in one decay to fight over elements. I didn't see any Snapcasters. Oh, the Street Raids need to stay. And this is why this is insane. Like, Jun. Unplayable unless it draws Bloodbraid Elf. Death Shadow doesn't need Bloodbraid Elf to be great, but it does fix the issue that the deck has. Um, probably can actually cut this, and then maybe we can hedge and bring in a spell bomb. No, I'm gonna leave a decay in for Prismatic Omen or Engineer Explosives. I think anything, but anything, so I tried Manamorphos in this regular Death Shadow deck, and I found that it was, A, it was right when Humans was getting really good. So, when Humans was really good, um, Manamorphos was kind of embarrassing. I'm going to keep this. We have uh, three draws to see in a land. Or a traverse. We have three draws for 17, 21, 21, three draws, 21 cards, 25 of them are a redraw. 28 of them are a redraw. Yes. Stubby D. We don't want that stubborn now because this actually doesn't fetch for Watery Grave. Um, no, I'm going to Inquisition because we might want to take Jace. And mind sculptor. Um, we would top top. So we probably top a green source and top like a Steve.
We need blue mana. Pretty bad. That's not bad, but... There is something very intriguing about playing um, about playing a deck that is uh, 48 cards, which is what Manamorphos does. Maybe I'll build that. Maybe I will build that. You give me a subscription on YouTube, I'll build I'll build the deck. We'll give it a whirl. I'm just gonna take this Jace, because this is the bigger problem right now. Earlier I mean. Cause that is the best way that you can support me. Is by just like it doesn't cost you anything. All you gotta do is go down to my YouTube channel and hit subscribe. So we time walk our opponent, which is always nice. I don't have any green. Oh, there's a green source. Okay. So they probably fetch for a breeding pool and then see your vision. Time walk yourself play Reman. Love to hear your <clears throat> We just had some YouTube videos come up there. Death Shadow here. I thought I should remand this, I think. I'm just going to take the remand. You know. Though I might take an actual action spell. Chase the Mind Sculptor. What is my opponent doing? Alright. Misa MTG. We'll build ourselves a Mardu, a Pyromancer Death Shadow. So we just gotta take this J so this guy's gonna like bury us. I think. Yeah. And then I'm not, I'm just not gonna play into this remand. Eventually I'm gonna draw a discard spell and I'm gonna be able to deal with that. Or I'm gonna draw a stubborn denial. I saw that. Yep. So if he lets this resolve, I actually can then fetch. Okay, this is all good. Because now we just put 10 power on the board. So not only, this is the best Jun deck and it's not even close. Because, like, not only do you just beat the shit out of the other gen decks in the mirror, like, you just beat all this stuff so much better. Like, you interact... I, I just... I don't know. It's just, like, it blows my mind that everybody... The, the whole modern format right now, they're just copying it. They're like, I want to play Jund because Jund is easy. Jund feels good. Like, I, I've Junded people, and, like, when you, jun when you like, go Thotsy, Bob, Liliana... Bloodbright Elf, like, man, that feels unstoppable. But, like, as soon as somebody plays an Urza Tower, you're like, well, fuck me. You know, this game's over. Okay, that's bad. I'll take back everything I said. We're gonna lose. That's 
not bad. I was gonna play Liliana, but now we're just gonna jam this time of life. I was right preparing for that engineer explosive there. Yeah, two drops suck. What do you are you being what do you mean, Teleprina? I don't understand. Hopefully I draw a land so I can play this Liliana while having this stubborn dial up. Jund is expensive. Yep, it is a very expensive deck. Okay, we'll start with this. Because we're not doing anything else. Okay, Island Scape Ship. And like, like I don't want to, like, because like, we, like the whole Jund deck, you know, like, what is your scavenging and beating? When 75% of modern is like, I'm putting my head down and I'm killing you. What is scavenging and doing? You know? I don't know. So they, they actually have to play their island, scape ship, and then we get their last card. Okay, so we're gonna get, we're gonna get their island out of their hand. We should have left up the loot house, right? Unless three and tap. Okay. I guess my opponent actually just gets two looks at it. And we're just gonna play our little out. Like. You know, we're just gonna be like, kill us. You get two looks. This makes their loot house worse, even though they're probably just, but like, well, I mean, I don't know if that's an actual right statement, but now they get two looks at it. Snapcaster Scape Ship. Snapcaster, I've never seen this before. I played Modern for five years, and I've never seen anybody snaps caster scape shifts me let me make sure they have enough another it was a single hand that stabilized me in a game versus cash company human no like i'm not gonna say like tell Brina, like i'm not gonna say like i'm not gonna say jun is bad maybe i'm just like being facetious facetious i'm not gonna play i'm not gonna make them put this in the stack um but like this deck here it does what jun does and it does it better like, instead of playing Ooze, stabilizing you against all, like, Counter's Company, you just play Battle Rage. Humans, Battle Rage. Burn, you have Stubborn Denial and Battle Rage, which are better than, um, better than Scavenging Ooze. Eldrazi Stop me. Okay, I'll give that to Scavenging Ooze. I would rather have a Scavenging Ooze come clean up the board, get huge, and gain life. But, like, this deck is, like, So maybe I want this Nihil spell bomb. Hang on. Let me let me get off my high horse here. Let me think. Oh no, okay, more. Ooze is incredible. Ooze is like Ooze is okay. You know, like when 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 a, so much of the format is like just trying to like put their head down and kill you, Ooze is like decent in the right games, I guess. Alright, so this hand's good. So I can just go Watery Grave, Overgrown Tomb, probably. I don't really know if I want any more lands. I'm probably going to fetch before I cycle Street Wraith. This should be just like a good old Tarmogoyf beatdown game. Alright, yeah, here we go. Alright, we're just taking Steve. Because we can trade with all the rest of this stuff. We can't trade with Serum Visions, but we'll be able to get Search from tomorrow. Well, we might be able to get Search from tomorrow. Island, Serum Visions. That seems... I guess they couldn't do it. Yeah. Trust me, I know Battle Rage. Last year, okay. We're on the same team. I get a little uppity. Because, like, 
everybody discounts this deck. They're like, this deck is garbage, this deck, and I'm like, dude, this deck's, this deck's fucking there. This deck is great. And like, bottom bottom, sweet. All right, so that means where our mana's gonna be online. So now, I'll get a stomping ground, I guess. Just because, like, if I hit a now, I've got like all of my mana here. Then, if we take, we're gonna discard spell this cryptic command. We're gonna discard spell anything that they have that's like anything they have that's proactive. Don't play a Steve. Don't play Steve. So, what can they do this time? It's probably better to just play another Tarma Wave and hold up. Nah, no, I'm gonna discard Spell then. Because it's gonna make us hit harder. Do we just take this Search? No, I should take this Cryptic. They're probably just gonna cast Search next turn. I'm like almost dead, holy shit. Be playing the hollow one. Yeah, I think I actually think the hollow one deck is really underrated. Probably should have just taken the search for the miles. Wish I had another blue source in this deck. I only play one. My opponent is on a two-turn block. There's the mountain. Here's that search. Gross, they hit an EE. God damn it. That was just like the second time that shit has happened. God, we're just gonna ranch by this engineered explosives. We can't win anymore. At least our opponent isn't, isn't like doing anything. But like, without any pressure, we're not doing anything either. Oh god, we drew the battle rage for all like the absolute savagery. I'm gonna do this right now to make them pop this. Right now, so they can't do anything else in their turn. Oh wow, they let me counter that. Holy shit. Holy shit, they let me counter spell that. Not gonna give up any information. They obviously blow this. Give me Death Shadow. Give me Traverse. Give me Tarmogoyf. All right, that's okay. We're gonna get there. We get this out of their hand. Okay, so that's coming off Suspend. I need like a threat. A threat and we're good because it's, we have stubborn denial and battle rage. So we beat Steve. We beat. Okay, there's the lighthouse. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Don't have a cryptic command. Don't have drawn a cryptic command one time. God, the way they're pausing is so scary. They're thinking about looting. Loot. Loot. Okay, great. Come on, we want this four one. We want this four one. Come on. Oh, I just actually took the Golgari charm out of my... So now we actually stub a remand. Oh, I just took the Golgari charm out of my sideboard. Today. Which just makes... Just kills me on the inside. I just watched after playing this. So we actually... We beat Primeval Titan. Okay, opponent is digging. Can we get the 4-1? Can we get the 4 ones? 
Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, right. wherever you are around the world. My name is Dylan Hubby, and you wandered on the My YouTube channel. So we get to Team or Battle Rage with Counter Spell Backup. I think we're in Within good Within this shape. channel, you'll find archives from my Twitch stream, as well as supplemental content, such as deck techs, set reviews, and that's why this deck is busted. Content. You get to just board Please. into this. Comment, freaking... like, share, subscribe, tweet, or contact me in any way you see fit. There this we go. We got the viewers, four one. And I would love to customize it for your viewing experience. Thank you very much and have a great rest of your Man, day. I like this deck. This deck is just so good. It is so good. So that is going to be it for me tonight. I really appreciate all you guys showing up and hanging out tonight. If you had fun, please check out. Please give me a follow. Um, please give me the follow there. Will that's the best way to like make it so people don't. You don't even have to spend money. Like I don't. I don't. I love subscriptions on Twitch, but I'm just doing this for fun. It's something to do. So like, follow me on Twitch. If you want to help me most, be free. Subscribe to me on YouTube. It's linked below. You know, talk to me on Twitter. I love talking about this deck. I love talking about modern in general because modern is gas. Modern, is, all, all the constructed formats I think are actually pretty sweet right now, but modern is my favorite. And this deck right here is the best deck in the format. It just is. Like, people don't know it yet, but they're gonna find out. Like, I'm really excited to take this to some event and just if I play well then I think that this I think this deck is just there. I think it's exactly what you want to be doing. So I do think Bolt's better than Tarfire. I think Tarfire is just kind of an eunuch. So yeah, if you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter. It's all below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's the best way to hook me up. Um, besides that, I hope everyone has a really great rest of their night. And I hope everyone uh, takes it easy, and I'll probably be back on tomorrow.